Welcome to this brief introduction to MQTT demo. So MQTT is a lightweight and efficient messaging protocol for IoT. And uh, I already make a video regarding MQTT overview architecture in detail. I will provide the link in the description or in the I button. So MQTT stand for message giving telemetry transport. So it's a protocol used in IoT. So MQTT designed to enable reliable communication between a smart device in low bandwidth, high latency or unreliable networks. MQTT use a publish subscribe model where device can publish data to a specific topic and other device can subscribe to those topics to receive the data. Okay, so here is the uh, official website for MQTT. You will get the uh, required detail everything is available here so why uh, mqtt used in iot so it's a lightweight and efficient protocol so mqtt client are very small require minimal resources so can be used on small microcontrollers mqtt message headers are small to optimize network bandwidth uh, this thing is already covered in my previous video but uh, i'm just uh, providing you a brief introduction so that you will get the idea of MQTT before we start the demo. So MQTT is a bi-directional communication. So MQTT allows for messaging between device to cloud and cloud to device. So this makes for easy broadcasting messages to group of things. Another uh, reason is scale to million of things. MQTT can scale to connect with million of IoT devices. Okay. Next one is reliable message delivery. Reliability of message delivery is important for many IoT use cases. This is why MQTT has three defined quality of service level, which are zero means at most once, one which means at least once, and two which means exactly once. Another one is support for unreliable networks. Many IoT devices connect over unreliable cellular network. MQTT support for persistent session reduces the time to reconnect the client with the broker. And uh, last one is the security enable. MQTT make it easy to encrypt messages using TLS and authenticate client using modern authentication protocol such as O auth now this is a uh, basic uh, mqtt publish subscribe architecture model so here you will see uh, this sensor this temperature sensor is the source of this uh, data where the temperature data are coming so it will act as a mqtt client and it will publish the temperature data to this temperature topic and this MQTT broker uh, will relay this uh, message to the other MQTT client devices which are subscribed to this same topic temperature. So in this model uh, one mobile device is showing as a subscriber and it is subscribed to topic temperature. So when this temperature sensor publish his data it where this mobile device will read the temperature data similarly this uh, backend system also subscribe to the same topic temperature so it will also going to receive the same message at the same time so uh, what is mqtt broker so mqtt broker is a server that uh, receive all messages from the devices and route the messages to the appropriate destination client okay so mqtt client is any device from a uh, very basic microcontroller to a full-fledged server so as a full-fledged server that runs an mqtt library and can connects to an mqtt broker over a network 
okay so this mqtt broker will uh, work as a one of the main component so let's see mqtt in action with a quick de demo so to make working with mqtt even easier there are various mqtt client available one popular choice is mqtt box application so i already installed this mqtt box in my system i will provide you the download link for this application so mqtt box provides a user friendly interface to interact with mqtt brokers publish messages subscribe to topic and monitor the communication between device okay so first what we have to do we have to create a mqtt client so see this is the main dashboard for mqtt box okay so if you see this create mqtt client button when you click so first we have to configure basic mqtt client setting like we have to provide our mqtt client name so so we will provide as mqtt client new okay now this mqtt client id is uh, no need to change anything here it will by default uh, configured as per the client mqtt client okay and see if in mqtt box there are four type of uh, protocol supported so right now we are sh uh, showing this demo using mqtt tcp so as i mentioned earlier like uh, if you see in this uh, section security enabled so mqtt make it easy to encrypt message using tls and authenticate client so for that you have to select this tls section so for if you are using tls section this was uh, some additional uh, features you uh, enabled security related like you have to upload the security files key files like this okay so right now we are uh, uh, doing the demo for mqtt tcp and so if this ws is for web service okay so for mqtt tcp we have to provide the host name now this host name is for the broker okay so this is the open source uh, application so for broker what we have to do right now uh, we have to search in google mqtt broker so there are uh, for e test basic testing purpose uh, there are uh, mm, freely available brokers available which we can use so if you see if you type mqtt broker in google so this high mq providing free <coughs> public mqtt broker okay so if you check if you want you can purchase their paid version also with additional features and other uh, facilities but right now for testing purpose we are just uh, using the open source public so if you see you can access the mqtt broker securely at this is the host id this is the public freely available mqtt broker broker for high mq okay and for this uh, uh, tcp protocol the standard port is 1883 wave socket is for 8000 and for uh, tls tcp port the number is double triple eight three and tls wave socket port it's triple eight four so right now we have to provide this MQTT broker, public broker ID in our MQTT box application. So this will become our host ID. Okay. So no need to uh, give any user name and password. And we have to first provide our topic. Okay. So if you see, I 
put the topic as temperature so i am following this uh, mqtt publish subscribe architecture model so here the topic is temperature okay now uh, for this setting leave it as default like app and timestamp to mqtt client id broker is mqtt version 3.11 compliant clean session auto connect on app launch reschedule ping queue outgoing qa zero message keep alive will return will payload keep this as default and uh, this is one of the important factor for mqtt client configuration is the qos so uh, we are uh, using zero as almost one okay so all these uh, parameters are uh, def uh, described in detail in my previous mqtt video so you can check that so you have to save the client con configuration now if you see uh, when i save this uh, not connected showing green color connected means our broker connection is established successfully so if you see there is one indication is there mqtt client new is our client name and our broker address is mqtt slash broker dot hivemq.com okay now if you see we have one topic to publish and topic to subscribe so you can delete those and is the uh, option is there to add as many subscriber as many publisher you want as per your requirement so right now we are going to test this model so we have one sub publisher with temperature sensor and two subscriber one is mobile device and another one is the backend system so first of all we have to uh, define the publish so topic will be same which you i mentioned in the broker which is the temperature qos is will be zero and payload there is a option is there like a string json xml characters binary array octal array decimal array hexa array hex array so uh, we are using simple string you can use json or any other supported format so first so we will provide the message in the string the temperature sensor the temperature of or the temperature sensor reading is 50 degree so we have configured our publish so we have to publish this now uh, if you see here uh, we have to subscribe add our subscriber also so this subscriber need to subscribe to this temperature topic with qos1 okay so so if i publish now like uh, if i change the message to 55 and publish this message so you see on this uh, subscriber receives the message like the temperature sensor reading is 55 degrees centigrade so similarly we can uh, so like this in this model there are two subscribers so we can add one more subscriber with the same topic name temperature and we will subscribe so if i publish now like 65 degree centigrade publish see both the subscriber receive this uh, message okay now i can show you by adding one more publisher so this uh, publisher topic will be different like this pressure and the message will be pressure sensor reading is 50 okay 
now i have to add subscriber or oh, do what we do or we can or leave it we will add one more subscriber with this pressure topic okay so when i publish this pressure message it will receive at this pressure topic so if you see this two subscriber with topic temperature didn't receive this pressure sensor reading because this two subscriber was subscribed to this temperature topic and temperature topic has a separate publisher okay now if i change this subscriber to the pressure topic subscribe and again nice if i send new message like nine pressure sensor reading is 99 so when i publish this message this subscriber with pressure topic and this subscriber with pressure topic will receive the uh, message okay see this pressure sensor reading is 99 pressure sensor reading is 99 okay so let me configure the previous temperature subscribe so when i like publish the new temperature message like 35 publish it then it will receive at this topic with temperature and this two will not that this temperature message was not sent to this subscriber because uh, this subscriber are subscribing to different topics so this way you can test or you can get a brief idea about this MQTT publish subscriber architecture model so and that's a MQTT in a nutshell and a powerful and a flexible protocol for enabling seamless communication between IoT devices so whether it's for home automation industrial automation or beyond MQTT makes IoT world smarter and more connected than ever thank you